Well, Tuber, so far so good. Uh, Penn State handled business. Uh, Miami's absolutely giving a good old-fashioned Billy beatdown with a Billy club. Billy Bob Baru. Uh, Florida doesn't know to go into a Hawk cover nine on the goal line. Uh, that prevents the guy from jumping over the top. Just throwing that out there. Billy Nepier has no idea what I'm even talking about. Uh, Virginia Tech Vandy. Missed that one. Uh, I aimed to pick Vandy because Vandy was on both. You know, they've improved on both sides of the ball with a. Uh, I, I, I guess I just accidentally hit Virginia Tech. But that's the only one I missed. Uh, I absolutely was, wanted to hit Vandy there. Uh, because I figured they would at least cover. I never thought they'd even win the thing, but they did. Uh, but so far, everything else is rolling along pretty good. Uh, Eastern Michigan's right where uh, they need to be. Uh, some of these other other things, like Old Dominion, South Carolina is a close, tight game. Mm. Kentucky needs a good showing here. I've got Southern Miss covering because 23 and a half is a lot of points. I don't know. I don't know. Kentucky, if we don't blow them out and win, and uh, they shouldn't even score on our defense, but we'll see. Tennessee looked look like the real deal. Now, that's what I've been saying all along. I was high on Tennessee. Now, I had them winning 11. Uh, every other sports writer, caster, YouTuber, uh, personal planet has got them 10 wins. Uh, but they're ranked 15. See, that just makes no sense to me whatsoever. You're going to put Clemson at 15. All right. Probably after all this changes. Uh, Tennessee needs to be up there in the top 10. Uh, I ain't real sure Clemson. Now nah, they may stay in the top 25 and then drift on out. Yeah, it would surprise me. Uh, South Carolina uh, shocked me. I figured they'd just come out and establish dominance. You know, for a good NIL deal, if you, I mean, if you give me a good NIL deal with some farm equipment or something, I'll come play on your offensive line. I don't know if there's an age limit. If there's not, you're good. You're golden. I <laughs> get in there and. Uh, get some penetration on the line of scrimmage. Uh, your offensive line so far, uh, and, and don't get me wrong, I know what's coming. Well, your team sucks too. That, true. But I can look at a team and determine on my own. Uh, your defense looks killer. Uh, defense looks good. Now you got a young dude in there that's He'll settle down. But see, you're coming to turf. You know, grass. I mean, things are changing. That's what I've been trying to say. But, you know, I'm going to talk about. All right, all right. He may play the game of his life on turf. Some people just love it. Uh, Michael Vick. Well, he got on turf was just just unbelievably better. Uh, Lenore Sellers could do the same thing. He can run. I mean, just point blank. He's going to run faster <laughs> is the thing. Stronger and faster, you can get more leverage on turf. You can springboard off that. Uh, the ground kind of gives you a little bit of grass. But I don't know. So far, everything's played out the way uh, the way I kind of figured it would. Uh, the ACC, yeah, you know me. <laughs> You're terrible. Miami uh, looks looks the part this year. Uh, they're at the swamp, by the way. And they... I don't care if it is Billy Napier in Florida and what have you, whatnot, and Florida ain't going to win two or three games. They're still in the swamp doing this to Florida. That's, that's your ACC. That's your hope. And uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi... Is not going to be able to save you, ACC. 
terrible. Terrible. Mm, mm, mm. What a mess. What a mess. But yeah, looking forward to the Kentucky game. Uh, I'm taping it, streaming it. Uh, I'm not going to live stream it, but I'm going to record it, uh, watch it, study it, see what we got here. Uh, there's absolutely no reason we can't be just as bad as South Carolina. Uh, and next week is what you're going to get, more than likely, two teams that are even. Uh, our defensive line is going to be far superior to your offensive line and vice versa. Uh, I, I just, I have, I couldn't even get any, I, I, I'm going to have to watch Kentucky play first though before I make any something definite. But <laughs> We're, South Carolina, you look like you're right there with Clemson. Uh, and great defense, not a very good O-line. Kentucky's probably right there with you. Good defense. I don't know, I just have to watch this play. Now, they're claiming that our O-line has improved. I had to see it before I believe it. And Vince Morrow's on uh, TV this morning talking about, well, they've been going against our defense, and our O-line has improved. I mean, he's usually not very vocal when it comes to stuff like that. So if he says it, you can just pretty much take it to the bank. He don't really... He's not wanting to get out there and say something that ain't even 100 over 100. It's probably 105 over. I mean, when he speaks, it's he don't hardly talk unless it's uh, a guarantee, and he don't guarantee nothing either. But it, the point is, uh, if he's saying it, there's a good strong possibility that that is correct. So, but I don't know. We're right here in the uh, thick of things. Uh, Everything's playing out kind of the way uh, the way everybody figured it would. And Georgia Foreman carried Clemson in a boxing match and finally decided, you know, I ain't, we gave the viewers enough. Let's go ahead and KO them in the last round. That's what they did. Uh, they could have done that at will, just to be honest with you. Don't, don't let there be any illusion. that they were just mediocre the first half is probably by design to go out there and just muck it up to the point where nobody could do anything and then the second half more of the same to the very last and then just open the playbook a little bit score you 34 and get out you didn't really show anybody anything I'm not real sold on Texas so I don't even know why Georgia had to do that but at the end of the day, that uh, that was pretty ugly. But Miami, Florida, that's going about the way I figured. Uh, Florida <laughs> uh, makes me feel better about Kentucky coming to the swamp now. Uh, they'll quit long before we get down there. They lose this Miami game today, and they are, and they're just, they're just getting throttled. They didn't even get in the Hawk cover nine on the goal line. Everybody gets in that to keep the running back from jumping over the top. As soon as the quarterback saw that, I'm sure he audible and just handed it off to him. Dude just jumped right over the top and scored. I mean, Kentucky knows to do that. You know, when you get out there in a spread, you didn't even get a jumbo package. I mean, that whole, I don't I can just go on and on about Florida. Uh, that's just terrible coaching. That was just basically let him do a layup. He just jumped right over and fell in the end zone. There was no Hulk coverage. There was no stunts. Uh, there wasn't a jumbo package. There was nothing there on defensive line but a spread. You can't do that. I guess a team that can read that. And there's not many of them that's not going to read that. So Florida... Uh, <laughs> Uh, and Miami even had a busted coverage, which gave you seven. All right. The guy ran around the end, and that, it was just broken coverage, and they scored. A pretty good long run there. Uh, take that away, too, and then, golly. <laughs> this game really ain't that close. Never was. So, anyway, let's get back to 
the next half and see what we can uh, discover about all these teams. South Carolina, I really figured y'all would. Old Dominion, I knew that was going to be a pretty tough game. Probably you'll probably pull away though in the third, end of third, start of fourth quarter. Uh, Old Dominion does have a. Uh, they got a team. They play together. Uh, Seventeen and a half point. You got you got some scoring to do, South Carolina. You got to get to work. Y'all think about it. I'm out of here.